is up you guys welcome back to our channel so it is currently 8 in the morning and we figured we would film a day in a life with the newborn 24 hours the newborn. With the newborn. <laughs> so it's currently 8 10 in the morning right now we're probably going to go back to sleep for at least an hour but little girl is eating right now this is her first bottle in the morning she obviously had some throughout the night but you guys will be going throughout the night with us tonight i'm about to pump really quick in a pump session we just changed her diaper and she peed everywhere so she had to take off her swaddle at gotta wash that today i'm always doing laundry every single day i'm gonna go get my pump parts we're gonna get that done yeah you guys are just coming along with us i look absolutely insane this was from my pump sesh in the middle of the night i do the like little put in the fridge method and wash between two pumps rather than after every single one but yeah this was my I think this was four in the morning. It's now eight, so yeah, it's probably four in the morning. I got to pour, uh, I should have put it in the big mixer jar. Pour this into here. Here it is. Write the date on top. So today is the 13th. First mason jar. I'm back to the fridge. This bottle needs to be rinsed out. In the middle of the night, I'll just like come out here and fill this up with water. Wash, thoroughly wash them in the morning but i don't like the milk just sitting there throughout the night I try to get all that like little condensation out as much as i can parts are ready let's go pump luna has so far had an ounce to drink she's even trying to burp her but it looks like she fell asleep she didn't drink it super fast no she's just snuggled up with daddy right now i have my pump on i'm gonna press go my pumping schedule kind of consists of trying to at least do it six times a day i sometimes only do five i do my pump sessions for 10 minutes i'm gonna go do that steven's gonna finish feeding sweet girl and we'll pick up the camera when we pick up the camera it is 8 38 i have finished my pump session we are gonna put it in the fridge so for my left side, I got about six ounces. For my right side, I got about four ounces. So we're gonna put that in the fridge and let it chill. Then we'll add it to the mason jars um, after the temperature comes together. I don't know if you still have to do that, but I see it's like mixed reviews. So I'm just gonna do it anyway. All of that, we got up around eight o'clock because she woke up. We changed her diaper, got her fed. I pumped. That all took about 40 minutes. So now we're gonna just kind of chill. We'll pick up the camera when we actually get out of bed, start getting ready for the day, all of that. We have some lovely kitties that are sleeping on the bed with us. Hello, Michael and Mia. Hello, guys. They're super sweet. All right. It is about 40 minutes later. This girl is finishing her bottle and she is definitely wide awake. Are you done with this? <laughs> you done? Do you want more? This is really hard doing it one-handed. Anyway, I'm just coming to say, just give you guys a little update. I'll be back once I'm done giving her her bottle. It's a little while later. I am currently trying to get ready. The little girl is having some tummy issues. So we're trying to work through those right now. Here in a second after I get ready, we're gonna get her ready for the day. And then I have to go clean out bottles and do all of that. Steven will hang out with her, give her another bottle. Um, that's kind of been our routine every morning, but getting ready. You guys will see me in a second. I'll have makeup on. Hopefully I'll look a little bit better. She, she loves her good water. Yummy. It's so yummy, mommy. Yeah. Hopefully that helps your belly. I love what she's about to do. Don't give it to her. She'll stick it. <laughs> Super far. There we go. <laughs> she wants more. It tastes so good. <laughs> hey, beautiful girl. <laughs> yeah, those are long ones. You <laughs> <laughs> love it. Got her next bottle. Gonna add it to the bottle warmer. Hey, Google. Set a timer for three and a half minutes. Bottle is being warmed. We're gonna change her, give her her bottle. That is so far what we're doing. No, this is not fun, but it's necessary. Baby girl is dressed. We'll show her outfit here in a second, but she is drinking her bottle. 
And now I'm gonna go make her other bottles. First, I have to clean my pump parts, which means we have to pour what I pumped a couple hours ago into this mason jar. Today is the 13th. We're gonna put this back in the fridge, clean out my parts, dry all the bottles, and then I'll be back to pour them with you guys. Steven's just hanging out with girl over there. I'm making us some cinnamon rolls really quick. Then we'll go back to drying off the bottles and stuff. Okay, hey, I am putting in my contacts right now. I actually have one contact in right now. I'm gonna put the other one in, and then I'm gonna kind of clean up the bathroom a little bit, make the bed, clean that up while Madeline is getting the cinnamon rolls ready. Luna is actually in her swing right now. Um, I'm not gonna go out there because she's actually content, and I don't wanna distract her because she's actually staying calm. So it breaks my heart every day whenever she has tummy issues, and I just, I absolutely hate it. I'm really not good at waking up in the middle of the night. I am so sorry, Madeline, like still to this day, I am not good at all. I do feel bad that Madeline does night shifts because I can't imagine doing that. But during the day, Luna's basically on me. Night, I wouldn't say 90, I would say like 65 or 70% of the time. So Madeline can just like relax or do whatever. If she decides to clean up, she can. If she wants to take a nap, she can. I don't know, it is a joint effort, but I, I do feel bad that she does the night shifts. I do help at night, but I'm half asleep. So I'm not that big of a help, but I'm, I'm kind of there. I'm gonna brush my teeth and then we'll meet you back out there. I'm currently exclusively pumping. So I have been doing the pitcher method, which is basically where you collect all your pumps throughout the day, put them in a pitcher, and then use it later. But I'm gonna pour all these bottles to three ounces because that's about what she's drinking. Sometimes she drinks more, sometimes she drinks less, but three is like a good, good number to where we're not wasting a bunch of milk. That's always so sad to see breast milk go to waste. There we go. Oh yeah, also the cinnamon rolls are in the oven. Boom. Four bottles. We normally have five made. She currently has her fifth one out right now. And we're gonna put these in the fridge. I put all the bottles that we're gonna use up here. This is what we're gonna use throughout the day. Today's milk is coming out of this pitcher. And this milk is actually from the 10th. So this is from the 11th, this is from the 12th, and this is what I'm working on today. And then tonight, you guys will see the whole process. I'll move this milk into this pitcher, clean these pitchers out and get ready for the next day. Exclusively pumping is a huge process. It's a bunch of cleaning bottles and cleaning mason jars, all of that. But for my sanity, I really enjoy it. That is kind of the morning right now. My pump parts are drying. I'll pump here in a second. We gotta get laundry together. That is actually the next thing that we're gonna do. But I'm gonna eat first. We have about six minutes left on the cinnamon rolls after that. Laundry goes in the washer, and then I don't know what we really have planned for today. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. I'm gonna try to work out. Okay. Thank you for doing all that, Madeline. Sorry I didn't wake up too much at all. And if I did wake up, I was half asleep. And I apologize. She is hanging out in her swing right now, and she's loving it. She's awake. I don't know, her wake windows, I don't know if Madeline's already said this or not, but her wake windows are so much longer than what they were, obviously, a month ago whenever she was born. My next goal is to clean up the bathroom after I eat. And then after I do that, are we gonna work out? Because I wanna get in shape. I wanna get big and strong so I can protect my family. <laughs> Madeline's working over there. We're just gonna hang out. And if, <sighs> she's so beautiful. I just love her. Other than that, I did wanna go on a walk today, but it's 50 degrees. Not cool. And then that's gonna, that's like the whole forecast for the entire week. I do need to go to the grocery store because we need toilet paper. Okay. Yeah, so after I work out and everything, take a shower, she'll play video games with me on my chest. Yeah. Actually, I'll edit this video. That's what I'll do. I'll edit the first parts of this video. And so that's just out of the way. So we don't have to do it later. It'll be perfect. So it'll be about her uh, sleeping time. Yeah, or yeah, I'll put her in the crib and then I'll monitor her. So she has been not co-sleeping or co-napping, but she has been sleeping in this snuggle me 
I should I shouldn't say sleeping. She's been napping in the snuggle me, which is this contraption right here. It's really nice. I want one for me. I want like an adult sized version for me. But she does nap in that right next to us during the day. And we really want to get her used to sleeping or napping in her crib. So we have a monitor set up in there and everything. So she actually did nap in there one time and she's about to do it again today. I really like her sleeping on me. I'm it like is really sweet. I like just hanging out with her and playing on my phone while she sleeps on me. And I know that's not gonna last forever. So like at the same time, I'm like, I don't wanna like make her grow up too fast. But at the same time, we do need to get stuff done. I can't just be like letting her sleep on me for three hours. Yeah, yeah that's normally when we do like laundry and stuff is when she's sleeping in her snuggle me or now possibly in her crib. I don't know when we'll be back, but I'll, we'll be back. The cinnamon rolls got burned. I cooked them for the least amount. I cooked them for 13 minutes. Somehow they got burned. Now I'm sad. I guess we can still try to eat them. If they don't work, then I'll make some of uh, these like little waffle, or not waffles, little pancake things. We went ahead and ate them. We just took off the bottom mm -hmm. of them that were super burned. They're not amazing, but they're not awful. I am currently pumping. We got the wash started. She's hanging out in her swing. Sorry if you can hear that music. She's actually awake right now, just kind of like looking around. I am pumping. I'm currently using the Spectra 2, I believe is what it is, but I did order a Willow 3.0. Oh, I did order that and it's like a wearable one. So I'm super excited because that means I could do like the dishes while I'm wearing it or just walk around. I feel like I'm tied down, which technically I can move this, but it's still annoying with like the strings and they get caught on things. And it's a very powerful, nice pump, but I'm super excited to also have a second one that I can wear. That is currently what is going on. I'm about to make a grocery list and I'm gonna go to the grocery store while Steven watches Luna. Steven's outside right now working out, then he's gonna take a shower then I will leave to go to the grocery store. She is awake and hungry. So we're giving her her bottle. You happy girl now? I finished pumping. I don't know how much I got. I'll show you guys here in a little bit. She was getting a little fussy, so I had to cut it short so that I could feed her. I love her little noises. The whole newborn stage is really just napping, feeding, changing. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally it. She's starting to like actually follow us with her eyes. And like when we talk to her um, at one of her ears, she'll turn her head and look at us. It's so awesome. It's so awesome. Steven has baby girl. I'm wearing her. In the wrap. He's going to go edit. I'm going to go to the girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to the grocery store and I gotta go put my pump stuff up really quick though. Okay, at my third pump sesh, I got three ounces and five ounces. Woohoo. All right, this is going in the fridge and I will see you guys later. So I worked out about an hour ago and then I took a shower and then Madeline and I just kind of hung out for a little bit on the couch and now I'm holding girl. She's hanging out with me. I got our robot vacuum mop thing going. So I'm mopping and vacuuming in the house while I'm in the office. She is in this position quite a lot. So we oh, kind of should. No, I'm going to keep her right here. I was thinking maybe I should put her in a crib, but while I'm editing, I'd rather if she starts crying or everything, I don't want to have to get up, go over to her nursery and then get her passy or whatever, or get her a bottle. So I'll just, I'm going to wear her while I edit. I love this. She always put her hand up here. It's awesome whenever like I'm doing skin to skin with her and like her just hand is like on my chest. It's like amazing. This is like the best feeling in the entire world. And I love this girl so much. I'm going to edit and I'll see you guys when Madeline gets back or if something happens, I don't know, whichever comes first. You guys see this? I edited most of it. Madeline told me just to like kind of leave some of the parts like where she's talking quite a bit uh, for her to edit because she said some of the times I was just rambling and talking just because. But the video right now is at 23 minutes, 56 seconds, which is not going to be the final product. Like I said, a lot of these clips are going to be condensed down. But as you guys saw in the time lapse, Mia was hanging out with me the entire time and now she's sitting on a cardboard box. But she slept the entire time. Um, She's so good and so great. Now that I'm done, I'm probably just going to kind of pick some stuff 
stuff up around the house, the robot vacuum and mopper finished. So I mopped and vacuumed the house, but I'm glad Madeline gets some alone time, just so she'll get out of the house. And like, I don't know, I do feel really bad how much she does. I feel like I do a lot, but she does a lot. Like she does so much. I'm so grateful that she does do all that, but I also feel bad at the same time because I'm not doing as much as she does. But I don't know, I feel like there's not much like where I can help out, but I do clean up. I don't know. I feel like I do my share, but I'm working on trying to do more. I really am. Sometimes Madeline will just snap for a couple hours and she really enjoys that. I'm glad she's getting some time outside and I get to hold her and I don't know. I'm just so lucky. I really am. I'll film sometime soon or whatever. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Pam came over and she's feeding Luna. Give me a break. I changed her a little bit ago and then I got everything brought in and Madeline just came back for the groceries. Is there more out there? There's one more thing. I almost got all of it myself. Here, well, I can go get it. So you've been thawed out some Uncrustables. So I'm eating that. Just had a banana. Hanging out, eating lunch. It's two o'clock. 2.30? Oh, three o'clock. I got a pump. Ah! Just finished pump session. Three and a half. And this one's at three. Put that in the fridge. Also, Steven's mom is here. Two grandmas. Two yep. Grandmas. I just made us some dinner. All it is is ground beef with black beans, pinto beans, corn, tortillas. Oh, it has ranch seasoning on it. It's very good, high in protein, super yummy. Just made that. My mom's holding Luna, which was nice. Didn't have to worry about that while I made dinner. Okay, you guys, so it's about seven o'clock. Our moms have left and now we're just hanging out in bed. Steven just gave her some of her bottle. Yeah, she's a very sleepy girl. So is daddy, I'm, I'm really tired. Yeah, we're pretty tired. Steven cleaned up our bathroom, like deep cleaned it and everything. Oh crap, I have to pump, I can feel it. <laughs> Are you leaking? <laughs> probably, I can like, they're like tense up. Yeah, I pumped last around like probably three o'clock. I hate pumping. It's so annoying. <laughs> So annoyed, but I went ahead and cleaned some bottles to get ready for tonight. You guys will be packaging my milk for the freezer tonight with me. We also have to give her a bath, which will be later. Like we do that kind of closer to like 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So she's like ready for bed. We got a lot done. We did our laundry. Yeah, um, I like I like actually deep clean the entire bathroom. Like, oh, I went to the grocery store. What the heck? Did you? Yes. Oh my god. Made dinner. I feel like today has been such a long day. Dude, it really has. Like I'm like ready to crash. Yeah. We should have taken a nap. I know. Hopefully we sleep good tonight. Well, hopefully she sleeps good tonight. Dude, I don't know I if she's she going does. to. I hope. We should probably get her up and let her play on her mat and stuff. Yeah. Do some tummy time. We're just gonna go hang out. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> I'm about to go pump, so I have to combine my milk. First thing on the agenda is go pump. Um, I just finished a pump session. We got three ounces and about 3.25. I also had to give Luna an ounce and a half out of this. No, 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 an ounce. Because halfway through my pumping, she was freaking out and I couldn't get up to get a bottle really quick. So I just poured some of this milk in there. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. We're gonna actually play Fortnite now. We'll come back out here in a little bit. It's currently eight. 40. We are in bed. Fortnite is starting up. We haven't done it in a long time. We started playing again whenever there was no build involved because all these nerds can't build up on me. That was like over a year ago. Yeah, and we haven't played in a long time. I would say we haven't played since I got pregnant. Like it's been a long time. So apparently there's a new update. Super cool. Yeah. We're oh yeah. Playing. Before people are like, oh, you're a nerd. These kids play Fortnite. First of all, we're adults technically. And second, apparently this update's really good. <laughs> <laughs> we're literally playing Fortnite. This is not our normal. We normally just hang out, watch like- The trailer's the, on, the trailer's oh on. Oh my God. We watch like the game show network. Which Dude, we works. literally watch game shows and then go to bed. Like we're, yeah. we're like 80 years old. We also watch Parks and Rec, but we're gonna play some Fortnite. We're gonna go back out into the kitchen, freeze my milk, get the bottles ready for tonight. And then we have to give her a bath too. Oh yes. We we don't have to give her a bath, but we probably need to. Yeah. And get her, probably her last bottle and get yep. her ready for bed. Yep. It's currently nine o'clock. We'll see you guys later. Yo, Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite. Dude, look at her. She's... Dude, she actually looks like she's playing. <laughs> Did you even thank the bus driver? <gasps> no. Madeline. But Luna's having a good time. 
She loves playing Fortnite. You love Fortnite? Huh? <laughs> Do you love Fortnite? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I have all the bottles cleaned and dried and ready to be poured for the night. So I'm doing what I did this morning. I'm just putting three ounces in each bottle. Sorry, you can't see. And I have some milk left over, so this is what we are going to freeze. These are the anti-colic Phillips Avent bottles. If you guys have any bottle recommendations, let us know. We're not like totally set on these. Um, it's just what we have the most of, and this like helps with this rather than having to clean like two bottles every day. Sorry, I should have put the camera like this. I was not thinking, but we are now going to be freezing this milk. Let me see what day this was from, hang on. Day 10, okay. So this was from March 10th, so we're gonna write the date. And I freeze them in five ounces. Um, you can go up to six in these, but I just feel like it makes them like way too full. So I've just been doing five. I'm gonna pour into this bottle to five ounces because I don't trust what's on the bag. And then we pour. I lay it up against the counter to get as many air bubbles out as I possibly can. There is the milk like that and then I'll lay it in the freezer and let it freeze flatly. So I ended up getting 15 ounces from today's milk, well from the tenth milk. This is today's milk right here. Anyway, it's kind of confusing. Ended up getting 15 ounces, gonna let that freeze then I'll move all of this out to our deep freezer. But now we need to transfer this milk, which is from the 11th into the big mason jar. Have the big mason jar cleaned out. And now we're gonna be adding the milk that I had pumped on the 11th. Today is currently the 13th. And this will be the milk that we use for the remaining bottles tonight and for the bottles tomorrow. And then I have like a little peanut butter spoon and that's what I use to get all the fat out of here because it separates. I actually dropped nine ounces one day of a mason jar and glass was all over the floor. Milk was all over the floor. It was very hectic at home and I was freaking out and Steven had to clean it all up. So thank you, babe, for cleaning up all the glass and all the milk. But it was really sad. I was like, that was nine ounces. Put the lid back on and this goes back in the fridge. And then I'm gonna clean out these mason jars for the milk that I pump starting after midnight. This is what I was talking about earlier when she does this with her hand. It was just spread out all the way. Yeah. Hi, you ready for bath time? Mommy's gonna go get your bath ready, okay? It's gonna feel really good. So I just got her bath ready to go. We're obviously not gonna film us giving her a bath, but you guys will see her afterwards. Uh, she loves bath time. She loves just hanging out in the water, the warm, warm water. I will show you guys her after her bath time. Girl is done with her bath and now she's all swaddled up in her little sleep sack. And we're just gonna hang out. She's gonna drink one more bottle before we all go to bed. It is currently 10.20. She looks like a cactus. Yeah, she does. She is getting her last bottle of the night it until is. the middle of the night. Yeah, it's 10.30 and uh, she'll probably eat what around one, one o'clock, yeah. Yeah, probably around one o'clock. Oh, sorry, I was literally zooming in that entire time. <laughs> Shh. Oh. I forgot I took my hair down. Uh, she will probably wake up around one in the morning. We're just gonna watch some shows. And I think that's it for the rest of the night until yeah. she wakes up and we go to sleep. Oh, I have to pump one more time too. I'm already sleepy. Me too. It is 11.41. I am doing my last pump of today, the 13th. And we're about to give her her last bottle. And we should probably go to sleep soon with her. Yes. We're gonna go to sleep most likely with her and wake up at her next feeding. Now it is 11.53. Steven is burping her. Yep. Mia oh, I was is- I say show. 
Mia's hanging out with us right here. I just did my pump session. We got four ounces, three ounces. So I'm gonna go put those in the fridge. I'll mix them in with the other pitchers at my next pump, which will be whenever she wakes up to do a feeding. It's late, 12.36. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, good thing screwed. is, is she's asleep, but she's gonna be awake in 30 minutes, I know it. Yes, yeah, she's in her bassinet. I'm gonna go to sleep until she I'm wakes up. I'm going to sleep it. too. All right, guys, we're gonna go to sleep and we'll pick up the camera if we remember to. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hello everybody. It is currently 2.20 in the morning and she is drinking her bottle. So I think I was right, I said two hours. Mm -hmm. She's drinking her bottle and we'll change her and get her back to sleep. Sounds like a plan. Yep. It is 5.20 in the morning. Little girl is so excited for her bottle. I am currently pumping right now. I messed up and missed my 1 a.m. pump. So I was really needing to pump really bad. We got a hungry girl over here. You loving it? Yep. <laughs> Hi, girl. Hi. <laughs> 10 minutes later, I finished my pump session. This one got a little over five ounces. Over here, five ounces, woohoo. This will go in a new jar labeled the 14th because it is technically five in the morning. We're gonna go change her, get her swaddled back up and go back to sleep. I'm gonna just go ahead and make two more bottles. So we're just like ready. And then we do it all over again tomorrow. Yep. We'll clean out all the bottles, fill them all up for the day. It's just a routine, you guys. It's so crazy how different our life was a month ago. Mm -hmm. Or even a year ago. I would not change it for the world, Neither though. We're I. so... We love being parents. While we're here, some people get so mad that Steven wakes up with me in the middle of the night. It's hard for me to pump while feeding her and burping her and doing all of this stuff. So I'm very thankful that Steven will wake up with me. Sometimes he doesn't, and that's okay. But he does normally wake up for the feedings. But And, and we're such in a unique situation, too. Like, we both... Work Work from home. Work from home. We are here all the time. Mm -hmm. And so like, I don't have to wake up early and go to work and stuff, you know? Like, I can wake up in the middle of the night and help. Yeah, I don't know. Some people in the comments are just like, I can't believe you make him wake up with you, blah, blah, blah. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm so thankful that he does wake up with me. I'd, I'd rather help than stay asleep, you know? Yeah. And it, it just it helps me out. So then my routine doesn't take me an hour and a half Yeah. before I and even get the chance. You still get some sleep, yeah. Yeah, to go back to sleep. But like Seema said, we're in a unique situation where we literally work together at home. So we're on the same schedule. Yeah, we got a cat up here. I'm going to go put this milk in the fridge and I'm going to go make two more bottles for the morning. There is still one in there. It is six o'clock, she's still awake. Uh, don't worry, the light is not in her eyes, this is just for us. But no, she's awake, she's lifting she's her head up. wide awake. Eyes wide open. <laughs> she's like, hey guys, it's time to party, what's going on? Yeah, she just finished her entire bottle. I'm gonna get her to burp a little bit and then we're gonna try to lay her down. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> She is crazy girl. It is 6.30 and baby girl is drinking another probably ounce and a half. That's how much I put in the bottle. And that'll most likely make her fall back to sleep. Probably end up waking up around nine o'clock. I did change her. I don't know if I ever updated you guys on that. I did change her, got her back in her little sleep sack. And now we're just trying to get her fed and back to sleep. Okay, you guys, it is currently nine in the morning. Baby girl just woke up for another bottle and she crushed it yes she did i think we're gonna close up the video here because it's literally where we pick up yeah. off of from the beginning and we just repeat today um our moms do not come over every single no. day they just came over obviously but that was very helpful yesterday we got a lot 
done. We are going to just chill for a little bit um, and then get up and do our day. But she just drank her last bottle. Now we need to change her. And yep, get do the, ready. Yep, do the day all over again. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed watching our day in the life with a newborn. We love her so much. We're yeah. enjoying this a lot. And we hope you guys are enjoying all of our little videos and yeah. bringing you guys along as well. We love you guys so much. With all that being said, we hope you guys are having a great day or night. Whenever you're watching this, remember to be kind. And we hope to see you guys in our next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.